Good morning, Sharon. Hi. Today is Friday, October 11th. It's a day D. Welcome to Eagle News. In case you missed it this morning, the Gender and Sexuality Alliance is selling pronoun pins this afternoon in honor of National Coming Out Day. They will be sold immediately after school in the gym foyer and in the auditorium foyer. Each pin costs $1. There are options for she, her pronouns, he, him pronouns, and they, them pronouns. So make sure you buy them today. WLNHS is hosting a move night tonight, Friday, October 11th, at 6 p.m. in the library. They will be playing Coco, and admission is free. Snacks will be sold for $1 each. The Culture and Climate Forum will meet, today, will meet Tuesday after school in room 202 from 3 to 4 p.m. This group was formed last year to provide a, a space for staff and students to come together to, to come together to discuss concerns and hopes for the SHS community. Come by and be a part of the conversation and promote solutions. Last day, the last day, October 15th, to buy a yearbook at the lowest price is fast approaching. If you haven't done so, be sure to grab a coupon code from the bulletin board in the hallways or see Ms. Gar in 707. This is the lowest price that the yearbook will be, so don't miss out on saving a ton of money. For an update on this week's college visits, we turn to Ms. McAvoy of the Counseling Office. The Counseling Office is hosting a number of college visits this week. Be sure to sign up in Naviance if you would like to attend. Stop in to the Counseling Office to get an Eagle Block Pass for those visits taking place during Eagle Block. Now we turn to Simona, who has been covering the new hallway pass system in force for the first time this year. Irritating. Annoying. Disruptive. Inconvenient. Effective. Dumb. Problematic. Stupid. Unneeded. Atrocious. Traditional. A new hall pass system introduced at the beginning of the school year has begun to cause loads of controversy throughout Sharon High School. The faculty claims to have good reason for creating these passes, but as seen through some SHS students, opinions vary. Hall passes are a waste of time because it's a waste of class time. The student has to interrupt the teacher in the entire lesson so that the teacher can write a pass just so they can go get water, go to the bathroom. The hall passes are very time consuming. Every single time you have to ask for uh, a pass, like it takes way too much time for the teachers to write it. Having a different and more positive opinion on the new hall passes than the SHS students, Mr. Olson, our school principal, explains his reasoning for creating the new system. Quite frankly, the, the feedback from both the kids and from the teachers that I brought in was that there were too many people kind of wandering all over the building, particularly during class time and things like that. So we felt that we needed some sort of structure to what was happening and the obvious rationale was going to be a pass system. Mr. Olson believes that this new system is very beneficial for the school. Some disagreed, like Mr. Jeffrey, our school hall monitor, who preferred the old system. I get why they have them, but I don't like them. I like what we had last year. If we could have found, found a different way to perfect it, so that way like the students were, wouldn't complain so much about it, then that would have been fine. But with the blue paper ones, I don't like. As one of the main supporters of the new hall pass system, Mr. Olson is looking into new ways to help make the system more user friendly. This has been Simona reporting for the Sharon Eagles TV Media. That's it for today's announcements. Have a great weekend, Sharon High.